Hi, everyone. It's Brandy. Thanks so much for joining me for a yoga class here as a Sovage Sisterhood member. Today's class is going to be a cycle syncing class that is designed perfectly for the menstrual phase of the cycle. So this will be a nice slow and low grounded flow to really help you get into your body even while you're on your period, but being really mindful of honoring the phase that you're in. So not pushing it too hard, not really trying to turn it into a workout, but really trying to use this practice to soothe the body, to enjoy the body, and to get some movement in while you're on your period. So we're going to start on our yoga mats. If you have a block, you're welcome to sit up on it. We'll just take a few breaths together and start to move into our practice. I'm gonna go get set up and I'll give you a second to get set up as well. So like I said, if you have a block, you can place it underneath you and sit up on it. Otherwise you can just sit cross-legged wherever you are, wherever feels comfortable or any other position that feels good as you arrive on your mat. I also recommend having a blanket nearby as we start to close down our practice, as we're taking some longer holds, you might even cover up to be really soft, soothing, gentle as you move through your practice. So we'll just take a few breaths together. Hands can come onto your knees or your thighs. We'll roll the shoulders down the back, open up the chest. Really let those shoulders sink nice and low. Feel the shoulder blades engage on the upper back, drawing in towards one another. And then rather than letting the chest stick way out, we'll engage the muscle in between the rib cage and just start to draw it in slightly, nice and engaged through the midsection of the body. <clears throat> A gentle tuck of your chin to reach the crown of the head to the sky, and beginning to draw your awareness to your breath. Inhaling in through the nose. Exhaling out through the nose. Gentle heat building breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Slowly beginning to lengthen your breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Staying just like this, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We'll take three more together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one here. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. We'll interlace the fingers here out in front of us. Open up the palms and press them forward. From here, gently pressing through the shoulder blades, rounding out the upper back, tuck the chin, pull your belly button in towards the spine and round out here just for a moment. Feel that stretch through the upper back. And then inhale, rise it up, drop the shoulders low. Palms can press up towards the sky. If this is too much on the wrists or the hands, you can release here, reaching all the way up through the arms. Exhale, release the hands down, big sweeping motion, stretch the side body. As you reach the base, interlace the fingers behind the low back. Start to draw the shoulders down, lengthening out through the arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Again, nice big breath here. Press down through the knuckles, reach up through the chin just a little bit, drop the shoulders low. And then exhale, you can tuck your chin and look down. So, so far, I'm not even lifting the hands away from the low back, just keeping that belly squeezing in. Again, inhale, look up, drop the shoulders low. 
Exhale, look down. Beautiful. Inhale, bring your head to neutral spine. From here, we're gonna take the hands, drive them over to one side. I'm bringing mine over to the right side. So my fingers are still interlaced and I'm coming around to one side, bending that right elbow so it points right off to the side wall. Big inhale here. Beautiful, exhale, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. And inhale to center and exhale right ear towards the right shoulder. Really breathing length into the side of the neck. <clears throat> Left shoulder dropping low. We'll inhale to come to center. Exhale, release the hands down towards the low back, lengthen through the arms. Inhale here. And then exhale, swing them around to the other side. So I'm on the left side now, left elbow points out. Just for a moment, inhale here. You can tap the left ear towards that left shoulder. Feel that right shoulder dropping low, belly drawing in. And we'll inhale the head to center. Just to counter for a second, drop the right ear over the right shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale, release the hands down towards the low back here. Beautiful, release those arms. Three big sweeping breaths. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, stretch to the side body, reach all the way up. Exhale, just the same way you came up, stretch them way far down. Inhale, sweep out and up. Exhale, sweep out and down. Last one here, inhale, sweep out and up. This time, exhale, come down through heart center, prayer position, Anjali Mudra. Draw the shoulders down the back, thumbs can press lightly against the chest. Eyes can close for a moment. Staying with that nice deep breath, taking a gentle moment of stillness to check in. What is it that your body needs right now in this moment? What is it craving and calling for? What would allow it to feel best? And what would best serve this phase of your cycle? As we move through this class, I'll be offering up suggestions with each of the postures, but you're welcome to take anything else that feels good. Add things in, take things out, make this what it needs to be for you. The only goal of this class is that you feel good, you have some fun. When you leave here, you're better able to be nice to those around you. Beautiful, big inhale, reach that gaze back up. Exhale, release the hands to the mat. We'll take that block out from underneath us. And from here, we're gonna come to lying down on our backs. As you come to lying down on your back, you can draw the knees in towards your chest. Here. Knees drawing in, beautiful. Start to roll in circles, massage that low back. And take those circles around in the other direction. Beautiful. Next inhale, we'll come to center, open the arms, exhale, drop the knees to the right, coming into your supine twist. Knees moving to the right as the left shoulder, left rib cage tries to draw down to the mat.
Next, inhale, knees to center. Exhale, send them over to the other side. Knees to the left, right shoulder, right rib cage drawing towards the mat. Inhale, knees to center. Beautiful. And from here, we'll cross the right leg over top of the left. Reach around to grab either the back of the left thigh or around that left shin. And we'll start to draw the legs in towards the belly. Get a stretch into that right hip. If this feels easy, you could reach the left hand to that right foot, right hand to that left foot and start to draw in here with the feet splayed out to either side. And then exhale, we'll release and cross the legs the other way. Same thing on the other side, option one, grab behind the left thigh as you draw in. Sorry, right thigh, <laughs> option two. Hands come around. We grab that right shin as we draw in. Option three, hands reach for the feet and we hold in here. Stay with that nice, long, slow, deep breath. Next, exhale, release the leg. We'll give one more squeeze in towards the belly. <clears throat> Beautiful. We'll cross here at the shins or at the ankles, reaching for the feet or reaching for the backs of the thighs. We're just gonna take a little rock and a little roll if that feels good. If not, you can just tip over to one side. Eventually, we're gonna take this all the way up to our seated position. Feet will plant. Hands come onto either side of the body. And we're just gonna start to scoot our legs through the hands coming into our tabletop shape. Beautiful. From here, I'll take a few waves with the spine. We're gonna inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Exhale, pull that low belly in around the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round it out. We'll take one more there. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round it out. Beautiful. Inhale, back to that tabletop shape. Beautiful. From here, we're going to start to open the knees up. Bring your toes together. Sit your hips back and reach out through the fingertips, through the arms. Come into your child's pose. Staying with that nice deep breath here. Breathing into that stretch in the hips and all the way down the spine. Staying here, inhale, walk the hands over to the right side, reach out through fingers, lengthen the left side of the body.
Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. Take this back to center. Exhale here one more time, child pose. Inhale, start to draw this up. We'll slide the knees back in underneath the hips. This time, walk the arms out long, coming into that puppy pose shape, stretching out the arms and the shoulders into the chest. We're going to sink that chest down to the mat, tailbone to the sky, stacked up with the hips over the knees. Bringing forehead or chin towards the mat. Nice and active in the arms. Inhale, start to lift the chest, come towards your forearms, elbows underneath the shoulders, and from here, tucking into the toes, lift the knees off the mat, and then slowly lower the thighs down. From here, thighs on the mat, elbows under the shoulders, palms planted. We're going to inhale, lift the chest, keep those thighs on the mat, press into the toes, a little sphinx stretch here, opening that chest up. Pulling against the arms and the palms. Beautiful. Exhale, take this all the way down to the mat. Slide the hands in underneath the shoulders. Pressing the toenails into the mat. Tops of the feet pressing to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Cobra, squeeze shoulder blades together. Squeeze elbows together. Exhale, send it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, send it down. Just flowing here. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Beautiful. Option to add on. Inhale, lift through straight arms. Coming into your upward facing dog. Pressing into the toes. Option here to engage the thighs. Lift them up off the mat. Pressing up through the chest. Beautiful. Coming here up and back with the hips. Finding that downward dog. Make it nice and soft. Bend the knees. Walk out those feet. Beautiful. We'll take a deep bend in the left knee. Start to straighten through that right leg. Hips are up really, really high. Tailbone pointing up towards the sky. Press back against the palms. You're really shifting your weight up and back and down the back side of that right leg. We'll switch from here, bend that left knee straight in the, or bend that right knee, sorry, straight in the left leg. Mm. 
Beautiful. Inhale, bend both the knees nice and deep. About a ruler's distance between your feet, hips are up to the sky. So rather than here, rather than a rounding forward through the shoulder blades, see this rounded shape I just created with my spine? What we're going to do is bend the knees, lift that tailbone to the sky. See that little shift in my hips? Here I'm rounded, here I'm pointing with those hips up to the sky. Start to lengthen out my spine, then from there I press against the palm and I shift the weight back. Beautiful. Hips nice and high, weight shifting back. Knees can stay bent like this, or if it's comfortable, keep the hips up. Start to lengthen out through the legs. We'll take five nice deep breaths here. of your mat. Inhale to lift the right leg up to the sky. Awesome. You can bend that knee. Let the hips fall. Open a little. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, down to the mat. Same thing side two if you want it. Right foot plants. Inhale, lift that left leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Option to open that hip. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, place that foot down. Inhale, bend the knees, look to the thumbs, start to walk your feet all the way up to the hand. Exhale to fold here, tuck the chin, gentle bend to the knees, and just let the arms hang heavy. You can give it a sway side to side. Beautiful. From here, we'll drop the hands down to the mat. Inhale, stretch out the spine, lengthening to your halfway lift. Fingertips can stay on the mat or they can come up to the shins. Reach out through the crown of the head so there's a little tuck to your chin. The back of the neck is long. And exhale, fold it back in. Inhale, stretch it halfway. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, stretch it halfway one more time. Exhale, fold it back in. This time, inhale, we'll rise all the way up through that flat back, rising up. Sweep the arms up overhead. Reach fingertips to sky, inhale nice and big. Exhale, hands sweep down by the side. Beautiful. Drag your shoulders down the back, reach down through the palms, draw that chest open, nice big breath. Letting the eyes close here, reach out through the fingertips, out through the palms, squeeze that belly in, little tuck of your tailbone. Nice. From here, let the eyes open, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead, press up through the fingertips, then bend the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades together, nice broad chest here. So as you're standing, you're really pressing those elbows back behind you. Belly's pulling in, so I'm not way out here. Belly pulls in, open up that chest. Nice. Splaying out the fingers. And then if you wanted to add that back bend, you could take a little bend to your knees, tuck your tailbone under, so you're dragging the hips forward, then lift up through the chest, press the elbows back, really rounding, curving with that spine.
Uh, exhale, send it back, drop the arm. Give those arms a shake. Yeah, loosen them out. Beautiful. From here, we'll inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Starting to bring this back down to the mat. We'll exhale, forward fold. Now, inhale, start to halfway lift. Exhale, take that right foot back. Beautiful, we'll drop that right knee down to the mat. We're in our low lunge. Hands can stay right where they are. You're welcome to release the back toes onto the mat. If you want, you can reach those hands up onto the left thigh. Hands come back down if they're lifted. We're gonna shift the weight back. So we're stacking the right hip up over the right knee, lengthen out that left leg. Flex the foot and toes, inhale here. Exhale if you'd like, add in the fold. Inhale, we'll come forward, stack that left knee over the left ankle. Start to walk that left foot out towards the side a little bit. And then option here, hands inside the left foot. You could stay right like this, arms straight. If you love it, you can start to bend the elbows, start to lower, maybe even come all the way down to the forearms, getting into that left hip. Staying with your breath and staying nice and low and slow with this practice, almost like you're rolling through it. Not pressing on, not forcing, taking any rest you need along the way. Optional here, if you want a little more advanced of a pose, you can press back up to the hands. Right hand stays down, inhale, swing your left arm up. Rotating the slow lunge, option one is here. Belly pulling in, option two, reach that left arm back. Option three, bend this back foot, reach for the outer edge. This top shoulder is rolling back and down, peeling open with the rib cage as we reach for that back foot. Echo to release, left hand comes back around. Beautiful, tuck your back toes. From here, we're gonna walk the left foot in between the hands, framing it again. Lift your back knee up off the mat, press into that left foot and step your right foot forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swing the arms all the way up, coming to standing, reach up overhead. Exhale, sweep the hands down. Taking that on the other side, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot comes back. Beautiful knee to the mat. Shoulders down the back, belly pulls in. Left hip sinking towards the floor. Option one is here. Beautiful, nice long in the spine. Option two, coming up forearms or hands onto that right thigh. Exhale, hands come down, frame that front foot. Inhale, shift back. Left knee stacks up over that left hip. From here, we lengthen the right leg, flex the foot and toes. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen the chest. Pressing out, exhale, forward fold.
Mm. Inhale, we'll send this forward. Walk the hands inside that right foot, right foot, heel toes out towards the edge of the mat. Right heel is in, right toes are out slightly. We're gonna inhale, lift through the chest. Option one is here. Option two, you can start to bend the elbows, sinking down. Or option three, right to those four. Next inhale, press to the palms, lift it up. Option here to add on. Left hand stays down. Inhale, right arm swings up. You can see this from the back side now. From here, that ribcage starts to open, right arm reaches back. Option here to bend that back knee, reach for the outer edge of the foot. <clears throat> Exhale to release, right hand comes back around inside. This time from here, we're gonna take that right foot, just step it back, stacking the hips up over the knees, back towards that tabletop shape. Beautiful. Just take a few circles here. Bending the elbows if you need to, just loosening up the hips a little bit and send it around to the other direction. Beautiful. Inhale back to your tabletop shape. We're going to inhale, take that right leg, stretch it straight back, point the toes. Just a moment here. And then exhale, bend that right knee, draw the knee forward between the elbows and cross your right leg over the left. Beautiful option if you'd like to sway the feet out off to either side. We're going to gently start to sit back. If your hips are tight, as you come back, your right knee will come up with you to stack up tall, pointing to the ceiling. If your hips are open, when you make that travel back, you can keep the knees stacked one over top of the other, pressing into one another, keeping the knees low as you start to lift the chest up. Garudasana. Coming into cow facing pose. Inhale, lift the chest. Beautiful. Option one is to stay here, hips pressing down to the mat. Option two, add a little fold. Wherever you are, really feeling this, hopefully, in that right hip. Well, then inhale, we'll start to rise it up. Beautiful, exhale at the top. Left hand comes down to the floor. Inhale, sweep your right arm up and over, a little side stretch on that right side, reach through the fingertips. And then exhale, switch right hand down, left arm to the sky. Reach through those fingertips, stretch the side body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. Beautiful. Inhale, we'll tip forward towards the knees. Uncrossing the legs, slide that right leg back. Option here, right leg comes back, taps the mat. Left foot swings back, so it's just behind that right knee. Opening up into a side plank variation just to stretch everything out. And then exhale, come down to the mat. Swinging those legs around back to your tabletop. Beautiful. 
wiggling out the hips however you need to. And then when you're ready, planting the hands, opening with the chest, we're gonna inhale, stretch that left leg back, point the toe, belly pulls in. Beautiful, exhale, come forward. Knee between the elbows, swing that left knee over top of the right leg, sway those feet out. And then choosing how you'd like to come back, knee is stacked or that left knee lifted. Beautiful, coming back into that hip stretch. Option one is to inhale here, sitting nice and tall, pressing that left hip down into the floor. And then option two, with an exhale if you'd like, taking it forward into that fold. Next inhale, rise it up. Exhale at the top, beautiful. Again, we're gonna press into the left fingers, inhale, sweep the right arm overhead, stretch that side body, reach out through the fingers, lift your right ribs towards the sky. And then we'll exhale, release, switch other side. And then we'll exhale, release, inhale to center, beautious. From here, we'll tip forward back towards those knees. Coming into that side plank variation here on the other side, left leg spins back, so it uncrosses, stretches straight back. We bring the left toes to the mat. We take that right foot, spin it back behind us, and we peel that body up and open. Beautiful. Exhale to release, left leg comes back around, coming into that tabletop shape. Again, wiggle it out, whatever you need here. Beautiful. Giving yourself enough room behind you. We're just gonna cross at the ankles, sit back so that we come into seated. Legs come out in front of us. Planting the soles of the feet, scoot your hips towards your heels. Have that blanket nearby. We're starting to slow this practice down. Beautiful, inhale, reach out through the arms, lift up through the chest. Lowering nice and slow here, pull that belly in, sliding the tailbone down to the mat. As you reach the mat, have the knees into your chest. Rocking side to side, taking it around in circles. Taking those circles around the other direction. Beautiful. And then exhale, we'll drop those knees and feet towards the floor. Ready to bring soles of the feet together, knees open, supta, baddha konasana. Hands that come to rest on the belly. I like to make the shape of a diamond. Boop. And place the thumbs at the belly button, point your finger at the pubic bone. And that just really nicely cradles those womb organs, the ovaries, the uterus, the fallopian tubes, just connecting into that womb space, center, creativity, creation, life. The eyes start to close. A nice restorative posture here, connecting inward into your body. Finding the rise and the fall of the breath in the belly.
As you rest here, making that connection with the womb space. In this menstrual phase of the cycle, really connecting into all this work that's being done. So much energy gathering in the center of the body. Perhaps even imagining you could breathe in a warm, soothing light in through the pelvic floor, traveling up into the uterus, spiraling, swirling, dancing in the uterus, assisting with a gentle release the dance, the letting go, the lining. As it flushes out of the body, so a cycle can begin anew. A moment of release of letting go here. Letting go of what no longer serves you, of what's not needed in this moment as you move forward. Creating a blank canvas for all the new growth that is to come. And then choosing to hold here or begin to lengthen out the leg, moving into our final resting pose, Shavasana. And from here, you might take that blanket, drawing it up over top, being nice and cozy. As you come into Shavasana, allowing yourself to fully release, relax, and let go. I've got to here. I will bring you up out of Shavasana after a few minutes. So just allowing yourself to really release, not needing to do anything at all. A true sacred moment of rest.
Beginning to gently deepen your breath wherever you are. Slowly inviting movement back into the body. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Circling the wrists and the ankles. Gently beginning to roll in circles. And slowly, gently over time, finding your way back to a seated position as it feels good.
And I'll leave us here with a reading that really resonated with me when I first came upon it. It's from the book, Women Who Run With The Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola Estes. Chapter nine on homing, returning to oneself. And she writes, the psyches and souls of women also have their own cycles and seasons of doing and solitude, running and staying, being involved and being removed, questioning, excuse me, questing and resting, creating and incubating, being of the world and returning to the soul place. When we are children and young girls, the instinctive nature notices all of these cycles and phases. It hovers quite near us and we are aware and active at various intervals as we see fit. Once we lived by these cycles and seasons year after year and they lived in us. They calmed us, danced us, shook us, reassured us, made us learn creaturally. They were a part of our soul skins, a pelt as envelop that enveloped us in the wild and natural world. At least that is until we were told that there were really only four seasons to a year. And that women themselves really only had three seasons, girlhood, adulthood, and old womanhood. And that that was supposed to be that. but we cannot allow ourselves to sleepwalk wrapped in this flimsy and unobservant fabrication for it causes women to deviate from their natural and soulful cycles and therefore suffer from dryness, tiredness and homesickness. It is far better for us to return to our own unique and soulful cycles regularly, all of them, any of them. The good news is that we can make the necessary corrections and return to our own natural cycles again. It is through the love for and the caring for our natural seasons that we protect our lives from being dragged into someone else's rhythm, someone else's dance, someone else's hunger. And so I call on you as we close this practice to more intentionally recognize your natural cycles, your natural season, what you crave in those times so that you live in alignment with yourself rather than being dragged into someone else's society's way of doing things you are unique and you have your own cycles and seasons too. To close our practice, hands can draw together in front of the heart once again like a prayer. Taking a nice deep breath in and a full exhale, letting it go. And I like to close practice by saying Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you so much for practicing. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your menstrual phase. I'll see you next time with another yoga practice here for the Sauvage Sisterhood.